Uh, I really don't want to make this video because that means that my previous thoughts are coming true. Dragon Ball Super, to me, is officially trash. Episode 100 of Dragon Ball Super was the most blasphemous, out there episode of any anime I have seen. What I mean by that is that it went against so many of its already developed concepts that I could not watch it. It was just so horrible. I really didn't want to have to make a rant video for this, but I feel like I just need to have my voice heard at least by one person out there. I'm going off the top of my head, so I'm going to just kind of talk about the episode in general. Um, we're going to start with uh, the trope of Goku in general. So Goku is fighting uh, Khalifa, I believe, in the episode 100, and she goes Super Saiyan, and I, I'm not even going to talk about that. That that whole arc is just bull. Complete bull that she's just a Super Saiyan just like that. But not only not only that, but she ascends to Super Saiyan 2 just by seeing Goku do it. And then she's like, oh hey, teach me how to go blue. In the middle of the universe fight for survival. That that just that kills me, man. Like Goku Goku has never changed. And he his character has no depth anymore. But even when he didn't have any depth and he was you know, you, you could you could see what he was going to do and how he always holds back and he always wants to fight the other person. It's like in the middle of this war, they're going to do this again to us as a community? You got to be freaking kidding me, man. They're, they're trying as an anime to bring in new stuff by making new colors of hair, which I get. It's fine. How do you really do power levels anymore at this point? But this is just complete bull. Like... How, how do you keep doing the same thing over and over and over and over to us in a different setting, essentially, every time? There was Frieza. There was kind of Cell. Uh, obviously, in Super, you've got every arc. You've got Frieza. You've got uh, the tournament with Hit. And now this Khalifa or the, um, the Wolf Trio Triangle BS. Like, he was always holding back and always trying to get them stronger. And blah, blah, blah. I just... Oh my god. On top of that, just crap, you got, you know, you got, oh my god. <laughs> it's so bad. Anyway, you've got uh, Kale or Kale or whatever the hell you say it, turning legendary Super Saiyan, which we all knew was going to happen. But the way it happened was just complete crap, dude. I just... What were they thinking? I mean, I get that they were trying to push a story forward, and I was thinking that, you know, they're going to run out of time in the actual anime because it's, it seems that every two to three episodes is about five minutes in the actual timeline, and there's 48 minutes that covers the whole tournament. But I guess Kale takes out a bit of the field by going legendary super saiyan getting angry and blasting a lot of people out which that part that part's fine i'm fine with that you know that, that that actually makes the anime move forward a little bit but it's what happens after when she starts attacking goku and uh, if you watch the episode you know exactly what i'm talking about of course in this episode there's a lot of spoilers so if you don't want to hear anymore get out but kale right okay so without any explanation about her transformation at all which granted they might have more explanations for it in the future but i've read a couple things online and it just does not match up at all just nothing matches up goku fights kale in her legendary form in which vegeta vegeta he comments that oh is that the super saiyan's true form is that what a super saiyan needs to be or is supposed to look like and it's like no and i mean even if it is you guys have beaten him in what three or four movies come on dude she just transformed you know she she can't really control the power obviously and they're saying that she's stronger than a goku and super saiyan blue a whole 
I guess full powered Kamehameha, just she walked through it. And I get it that they want to do something similar to the movies, but do something else similar to the movies and just let him beat her, I guess. Especially because if the power scaling is just. It's so wrong. It it just it, I just it feels dirty. They did us dirty. They did us they did us very very dirty. The uh, Toriyama has uh, said I believe it was Toriyama. Somebody that worked on the show said that um, Broly is like the equivalent of a Super Saiyan two, right? So if you want to think about it in Dragon Ball Z standards, Super Saiyan two, right? What they've said though in Dragon Ball Super pretty much is that there's this power scaling thing that means that goku's gotten stronger over time so this super saiyan 2 right here goku is like there on his normal base form so even in his base form he should be like a super saiyan 2 level and then you know he levels up as he goes so when he's fighting khalifa at super saiyan 2 of course she he's holding back because he's he's goku of course he's gonna hold it back and he's gonna try to bring out her inner might and all that crap but then even when you whenever she goes uh kale rather whenever kale goes legendary super saiyan should just be able to just flick her away and be done but no no the writers want to make it different <laughs> just... <laughs> oh my gosh so anyway she bodies him pretty much she does the hulk smash thing from uh the first avengers movie uh she slams him on each side and throws him away like a freaking wet towel and it's, it's pretty comical. At this point, I'm just laughing. I'm just laughing through this part of the episode and just probably probably looking like this. Like, why? <laughs> because it hurts my brain. But uh, it's there. It, I can't change anything about it. But I'm, uh, I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just flabbergasted, man. I'm just flabbergasted at this. Anyway, uh, after just going off on a tangent, uh, what happens is uh, Jiren, Jiden, however you want to pronounce it, comes up and one hits her after Super Saiyan Blue Goku can't hold a candle to her. And... I, I, I have this reaction because, you know, they're either going to give Gohan, Goku, or both some new transformation, a new color, and then everything's just gonna be amazing. And they're just gonna, they're just gonna do it, or you know they're, they're going to team up with hit or something some some bs is about to come and i can just feel it this is just this is the beginning of the shit storm leading up to the rest of this tournament you know how that saying goes with hindsight uh looking back though looking back at dragon ball super i should have saw this coming for instance the fact that uh super or not even super it's just uh android 17 is as strong as goku in his newest form is the fact that he can hold a, anything up to him is remarkable considering he was as strong as Piccolo was back in the Cell Saga, which was less than a Super Vegito, which was far less than a Super Saiyan 2, 3, Super Saiyan Blue. So the fact that that remains it irks me. I should have seen you know some of this BS coming, but obviously i just kind of overlooked it i said ah whatever it's dragon ball i love it you know whatever i'm drinking the sauce but now i'm done i am so over this crap dude i, I don't even want to watch the anime anymore that breaks my heart i've been watching dragon ball z since gosh i want to say 96 97 when uh the saiyan saga premiered on toonami back in the day and so it kills me to see this path that's gone down and just how ass it is. I don't really have anything else to say. I just wanted to put my opinion out there. That's what the internet's for. Um, episode 100 was absolutely not good. Don't listen to your friends. Uh, listen, listen to your heart. Uh, Khalifa going super, super Saiyan with the big muscly form and then going immediately into Super Saiyan 2 and Kale and then Jiden and... I, just, I want it to stop so bad. I, w I want it to stop for a fan's sake, being mine. I'm being very selfish right now because it's it's gone down a road that I just... I, I don't see them digging themselves out of it. They, they, they're too far into the rabbit hole to come out unscathed. So uh, I'm going to be apprehensive and... Uh, 
probably regrettably watch it um, going into it with a sense of humor rather than being serious from this point on. So uh, if another episode comes up that's so horrible that I feel the need to make another one of these videos, look forward to that. Uh, if not, I will see you in the next video. Enjoy the rest of your day. I...